welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another episode on the lifecraft server where we are still going through the redstone project that is the little mini game and this episode is gonna be a little kind of interesting it's more of like me finding small mistakes that i made throughout my redstone and it's something everybody comes up with i mean everybody has them but the, the reason i left this part in is just showing you guys what you can do to try to resolve the problems uh, a lot of people just pretty much break them down and f rebuild them but there are ways around it so this is pretty much what this episode's about so hopefully you guys enjoy see you guys in just a moment all right let's test this uh dispensing action here let's take that one out of there put these back in here just for testing and basically what we're gonna do is take a hopper minecart and put it right there we're gonna shoot it real quick you know it helps if i actually shoot the right one so we have one in there and i think i have it set up to this line should have worked all right let's try this again we should hear some pistons happening Oh no, I am pulling it off the wrong side. That's why it's not working. And of course I shot the wrong one again. All right. Attempt number three. Put it right here, right at the last minute. There we go, we got two. So I'm going to have to do that to every single one of these. And kind of just join them into this one line right here. Alright everybody, we're going to test to make sure I hooked all these up correctly. And uh, let's go. There's one. Ah, see? This is why we test. So that second one is not working. That one is working. Ooh, we did not get a third one on that one. We got that one. So the second one and the last one are the ones that are not working, but everything else seemed to be working fine. You know, I'm a complete noob. I know why they didn't work. I forgot to put the redstone blocks on them. But yeah, you can see it's a little bit of a mess down here. Just a little bit. But yeah, it's coming together. We got all the scoring system done. Now we're just going to have to go the reset button and also the refilling button. Which are going to be hooked together, so it shouldn't be that bad. Let's test to make sure it was just that. And it was this one right here, if I remember right. In fact, we can just go through a whole new test run of it. Okay, that's one on each of them. Let's try this again. Ah, see if we shoot them too close together.
All right, everybody. I think I got the rest of it fixed. It should have everything in here. We're going to run a whole new test run with it. I have not got these set up to auto dispense them back out. But I don't think we want the game to go on for too long. So let's try this again. It should work. There's one. Still that second one. Oh. Well, Enigma, it helps if it's placed the right direction. So that's the problem with that one. We can pull it out. See, this is what I do to test all my items or my redstone contractions. I have to go through each one of them individually and make sure they're working properly. Because if not, uh, it wouldn't be that great. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got eight in there, so we should have... Ooh, that was bad. Nine. How much do I have left in here? I have no more. Ten. And there we go. So all that system works. So now we just have to get the randomizer for these. And also the refilling. Which actually I think is going to be pretty simple. Basically what I'm going to do is if I have enough observers. I'm just going to make some clocks out of them. Which doesn't look like we're going to have enough. But basically find one. Basically have it set up. Where basically I have a clock like that, and if no matter how many of these I get, they're gonna automatically be up in there. Like we noticed before, we cannot power the block directly, so we're gonna have to power it indirectly. And if I had a sticky piston, which I don't actually have anymore, we can just simulate it with this. Have it run for a certain amount of time, and then we just basically stop it. So pretty easy for that system. And I'm probably going to run this actually vertical so I can avoid this redstone right here. And then the last thing will be hooking all that up. So there will probably be multiple layers to this thing. You know, I'm sitting here looking at this. And you know what I could do? I can go grab some wool. And we can change these out per circuit. So I could actually keep track of it a little bit easier. And also for people at home, they want to build something similar, they can do the same. You know, I need more pistons, but I forgot completely about this right here. I actually had a bit of cobblestone just chilling over here in one of my chests. I think when I am digging out this, I'm going to probably just use my fortune pickaxe to kind of make sure I have plenty of cobblestone. All right, everybody. I kind of cleared out a, bit, a little bit of an area down here to basically be able to work with the circuits a little bit more. And I did come back and kind of recolor coat these and I really need to uh, put a block there just to make sure things don't uh, come and attack me uh, because this is taking a little bit of time and I don't want anything to come in and blow up all this redstone so let me talk about the circuits real quick this yellow one is going to be for the scoring it's all set up it's all going now, this pink one, that one is actually for the reloading system. You can see if I put a lever, if I can pull one out of here, on this piston right here. That resets all of it and puts everything back into the dispensers. Now, the red one is going to be the locking mechanism. That's going to what's going to lock it if you miss a shot. Now, the pink-purple ones, 
I think I have purple ones. They're outside. And I'm kind of afraid to go outside because of creepers. But I kind of made a little bit of an escape hatch. I think it's actually magenta, not uh, purple. But this is what's going to be the firing mechanism. And you can see how I'm doing I'm doing a little torch tower into a block that's going to be powering it. So all that's actually pretty easy. I left my circuit stuff up here. But yeah, I just kind of added a few things just to uh, make it a little bit safer on me. I think I can actually remove that right there. Hmm. Might have to get some more trapdoors real quick. But yeah, that's my progress so far. Getting pretty close to being done with it. But it's just all the little detail. Trying to make sure it's all compact and pretty simple to understand. Now, one of the main reasons I actually did this is because I've had so many things try to attack me so far. It is not funny. But you can also see down here, I also took out all the torches. And I'm replacing it with glowstone to help light up the area so nothing can spawn. I believe actually everything should be fine. Yeah, this would be the main spot that could have possibly have something and right here is one so we might want to put one in the ground just to be on the safe side we can actually put one right here too ah right here is a bad spot that so should all be lit up enough we don't have to worry about any creepers or anything popping in on us another reason i also put glowstone up there was actually to prevent server lag Server lag can happen whenever you actually have redstone. It's a light update. So that is why I put them in there. The only thing I need to put in here now is actually a randomizer, which is going to go back here. The randomizer is going to randomly select one of these areas to fire. And also, the last thing we also have to do is a timer button. With timer, which might go over here in this area. And that should be about it. All right, everybody, this isn't your standard. <clears throat> All right, everybody, this isn't your standard uh, randomizer, but it is what I kind of have in mind. See, the way this is going to work, it's actually pretty simple. We're going to put a bit of a, a block there on his sticky pistons, and you can see these are raining, up, or blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> All right, everybody, this isn't your normal uh, randomizer. Uh, it's just something very simple. It doesn't always have to be so complex, but you can see it's just randomly going around and it has its own tick speed and everything, so we don't have to worry about that. And the way this is gonna work is basically um, the game will say, hey, it's time to fire a cart. It's gonna lock one of these down. And you notice only one of these is lit up. So this one, which is gonna go to this back one right here, will fire because it's going to have an output right here. Now, the same thing is going to happen on this side. I might have to clear out a little bit more blocks on this side. But, yeah, that's kind of the whole point behind this. And, like I said, it's not too complicated. Now we're just going to have to figure out the firing system. And I did clear out quite a bit more blocks just to make sure I have enough room for everything. And, well, I don't have to worry about digging for terracotta for a while. So, all right, let's go ahead and get back to this. Uh, I'm probably going to have to clear out this whole wall here. All right, everybody, I think I got most of it worked out. Um, it took me a little finagling, but uh, I think everything should be good and ready to go. Might as well give this thing a shot. I need to change these out. I'm trying to remember. Go ahead and grab a uh, note block. Where did I put my note blocks? Now, I'm thinking that if we put on a piece of iron... Well, give me a certain sound. All right. So that's a sound I'm kind of wanting. I did actually install a few note blocks in this. So we can have a little bit of a variation on the sound. So we're just going to have to kind of pop down here real quick. And this would be like the get ready, you set, and go sound. That's what I'm trying for. And I'll start off low. And we can, oops, 
Not that. But. Go. That should sound about right. Let's go ahead and put this stuff back real quick. And let's see. There is one more that I want up here. And I think I can get up here. It's going to be right there. And I don't know if I can do this. Let me uh, kind of replace that block up there because that was not supposed to be a note block. I need to make sure it's a solid block that it can transfer power. So we got iron on us, so just need to scaffold up real quick. Let me fix that. All right, that should be the last thing. We should have a bell sound for whenever we get notified that we made a point. And hopefully, make sure I got some arrows on me. I do. We can actually test this thing out. Now, I toggled that on just so I could see because uh, we don't want creatures or creepers. Or any other creature just dropped in on us. So, all right. So, this is the on button. This is going to be the reset. Go ahead and have our bow ready. There we go. I'm blind. And. So, we need to actually speed up the uh, carts a little bit because that's kind of slow. There we go. There's one point. Yeah, we're going to have to speed up the set, uh, the rate of this. Except I still can't hit that back one. And flaming arrows are probably not the best. All right, we also have to make sure we can test the ones that are really going in the back. Now, I do actually have nine in each one of these. Yeah, I think I finally got the one in the back. Now, this is kind of a long mini game. I just want to make sure every one of these are actually working properly. Especially on the sounds and everything. So it's getting pretty close. What the? That's on fire. Um, That's not supposed to happen. I have, don't think I've seen that one fire yet. Or have I? Yeah, I'm hitting that wall right there. All right. Oh, so I ran out of that one. Interesting. All right, we're just going to let the rest of them just kind of do their course. So there is one that is actually firing too many times. So we might have to shorten the game a little bit. And this will also check to make sure whenever they go across, they're not giving us extra points. Yeah, so we're going to have to cut these down a little bit. Yeah, that's just not working for me up there. How many in this one? This one has quite a few. This one has a few. This has a stick in it now. That one's completely full, so that one hasn't even fired. That one hasn't fired, nor has this one. Unless it's automatically going back up in there. All right, that should be it. Let's see. Uh, okay, we need to actually get coins in there i might switch them out i think i can hop down here real quick can i nope i cannot grab that from here all right i have some type of point system in there now so that should work now this one's missing or three this one's missing none this one's missing none is there anything in the line this one it seems like to have the most that's gone and this one it says it has none, but that should not be right. All right, change it up a little bit down here. Double check to make sure all the redstone was working properly. It seems to be. Now, let's go ahead and hit the reset. All right, that's just telling it it's reset, and this one did not put back any of them. Is there 
they're all still in here. So that's going to be an issue. This one has its full. This one's full. This one doesn't have any, so I didn't turn that off. So looks like we're going to have to delay the redstone on this right here. And hold it. So I might have to rewire this a little bit. That one's good. Now, yeah, like none of these that had any missing. All right, everybody. I think I have everything fixed. We can test it again. That was a little bit of a redstone headache there. So where did I put my bow? I got plenty of arrows. We should be good to go. Let's go ahead and fire this thing up. Got to work on the tune a little bit. Still can't hit that one in the back. There we go. Got one point. Still flaming on fire cart. I don't understand that. There we go. Got to double check around me. I didn't get enough time to sleep. Okay. I'll make sure all these are firing and getting the proper points. That did not work. All right, we get that, that last second. We're going to have to put some more of these uh, powered rails down just to make it go a little bit faster. I think I got that one. Yep. It's not too bad. Pretty easy to hit everything. Right, so now I'm going to let it run. And, you know, I have not seen one of these fire. That's a little weird. Okay, that is not supposed to happen. Yeah, I have not seen this one fire. Might be a little bit... See, look how slow that one was creeping. Yeah, we're going to have to speed these up a little bit because... Wait, why did I get a ding? I haven't hit anything. That's a little strange. That one right there. So this one is not locking. Double check. I think it was this one. Yeah, see, it's not locking. So for some odd reason, it's going on and off. This is why we test. And I still don't think this one's fired at all. So I'm going to have to go back down and kind of rewire that one right there. Don't understand why it's not firing. It don't like stay on just for a brief moment. So something must be triggering it. But it looks like all these are pretty much fired. Except for that one that's constantly being refilled. So that one and this one have not fired at all. It doesn't look like this one has either. All right, everybody, that was part two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed If you stuck around to the end, don't forget to subscribe. I mean, you stuck around this long. If you're not subscribed, you're... what are you doing? No, I'm just playing. Um, until next time, don't forget to check out all the other awesome people on the server. And take it easy. Have a great day. Later.